2018, WHO reported that alcohol contributed to more than 2,000 diseases and injury-related health conditions, ranging from liver diseases to violence, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, etc. Then, why do people consume alcohol? So, alcohol uh, has a very long history, and you know, one has to understand it in context of cultures and religious beliefs and so on and so forth. So if you look at several old cultures, alcohol has been a part of it. In fact, both in uh, several parts of oriental cultures as well as the occidental culture, we know that you know there is this bit in the Bible where Jesus converted wine, uh, water into wine and so on and so forth. So it's been a part of many cultures for time immemorial. I remember one of my visits to Europe, I went to one of those monasteries which was famous for actually, uh, you know, it was one of the places where alcohol was produced by priests. So it is actually a part of several cultures. So there is, one can't be judgmental about it. There are two basic types of alcohol and one has to understand that. One is naturally fermented alcohol. So alcohol is a product of fermentation. So if a fruit for example which has got sugar in it if it ripens and then it over ripens and then there are yeasts in it which actually ferments it alcohol is produced and that's the reason why actually it's been documented that monkeys which feed on uh, you know fruits which have fallen and got a little too over ripe they often get drunk because they have actually taken a lot of alcohol okay so that's one type of alcohol which is naturally fermented. The other type, and that is something to do with human culture, humans realize that they need higher concentrations of alcohol. So they then discovered a method of making it more concentrated by a method called distillation. Okay. So what you need to understand is naturally fermented fruits, for example, the alcohol concentration goes up to 6%. Beyond that, if the alcohol concent concentration goes up, then the yeasts actually die off. So you can't get a higher one. But distillation allows you to make alcohol to much higher levels of concentration. And that's where many beverages come. Now, this part of the culture has been there in many parts of the world. Whereas there are equally large number of parts of the world where alcohol has been forbidden or they are not consumed at all. So it could be because of religious sentiments it could be because of uh, cultural influences as i mentioned for example when i visit many of the countries you know uh, islam uh, islamist countries in many of them alcohol is completely forbidden and one thing of course that's why they don't get to see is alcoholic liver disease so that's the way i would look at it Obviously, why some people consume alcohol is because of the pleasurable effects that it gives you. I mentioned to you that after taking alcohol, the pleasure effects are felt in the brain, but the first organ to which it goes when it's absorbed from the intestines is the liver and thereafter to all parts of the body. And somehow it's the liver which usually forms the brunt of injury due to toxic amounts of alcohol.